This CNN podcast is brought to you by Ramada Worldwide. Ramada Worldwide. You do your thing, leave the rest to us. We're working on a documentary series called Planet in Peril. We're literally traveling around the world to bring people to sort of the front lines of where the planet is in peril. It's going to be a four-hour documentary. We want to bring people really to the front lines of these problems and show them in a very visceral way. Resources of CNN to deliver that experience. It's a view you will not soon forget. I'm Charlie Moore, the executive producer of Planet in Peril. My name is Marianne Fox. I'm a producer for Anderson Cooper 360, and I'm a producer on Planet in Peril. Uh, my name is Neil, Neil Horsworth. I'm a senior photojournalist for CNN based here in New York. Probably 10 to 20,000 elephants. We decided to take uh, Jeff and Anderson into the water with the elephants. It's quite interesting they can actually get that close. I mean, I've never been that close to an elephant before. One of these big Asians grabbed uh, Jeff's arm and slung him around like ragdolled him. Fortunately, Jeff, Jeff was okay. He walked away uh, pretty shaken up and, and it was bruised. I think we were all shaken up. This was the first night we were trying to do a show from Brazil, and right before the show was going to be on, Corwin just disappeared. So he uh, puts on a little headlamp, and he just takes off into the, the rainforest. You know, we didn't know Jeff at this point how adventurous he would be, and he just slipped right into this swamp pond and, and went and tried to wrestle an alligator. You know, it was kind of uh, that moment that was like, this is going to be a really, really interesting uh, journey. So this is our sat truck. This shot was taken in Manaus, outside of the hotel where we were staying, where we were doing the show. I think we got the boxes four hours before the show when they finally cleared customs, and we made it on air with like minutes to go. This shot's just before the um, just before the show went on air, and so they had time to go through their, their sort of scripts. This was actually right when we got to the Craho Indian tribe. They said that they wanted to baptize our team and uh, welcome them into their village. And the way they do that is taking a fruit and uh, the dye from a fruit. And they actually paint themselves. You'll see in the footage, it looks really faint at first when they put it on. And then it just gets darker and darker. And it took, I think, four weeks to actually disappear. The helicopters were grounded because it was raining. And we're just trying to get some sleep. And it was just really cozy with quite a few of us in there. A few people watching us do things like sleeping. And then, of course, certain people snore as well. We had found this sloth that they're actually, the sloth had been tagged and they were doing research on him. And they climbed up the tree, and mid interview, you heard this snap. There will be more. Oh, Whoa! Oh, 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 shh! And the branch just came crashing down, and it fell. It missed my head by like millimeters and hit the floor with a big crunch, and everyone was just like, ah. The show was on just at the crack of dawn, and then right after the show's over, you got to pick up, literally pick up your sticks and walk away and um, start shooting for the next day. Cameraman lugging all the gear, as always happens. I have never been so cold in my entire life. The conditions were brutal in Alaska. It was stark white, and uh, trying to find polar bears on it, though, was really difficult. We got very, very lucky. We were basically jumping choppers, and and search for, the, for their prints, and they would follow them and track them down, and then they would, they would tranquilize them and then go down and do all the tests. I think these guys weighed about 20, 25 pounds. They were really fluffy. They stank, though. They stank of fish. I mean, the smell was appalling. But, um, but it, you know, they were really cuddly, too. Phil would always have a, a scarf that he would dip in, in the water, which probably wasn't so good, considering we were in Lake Chad and it was polluted. At this point, we'd been driving around, sometimes for like 18 hours a day in the back of cars, just through the middle of the desert. It was almost like being in the snow. There was no footprints there. You know, it was really windy. It was like a scene out of a film. It was amazing. I think for each person, you know, personally, it has been an incredible trip to be all these places, but it, it's just an, a, a great team effort.
Hey, I'm Anderson Cooper. Check out the 360 Daily Podcast on iTunes.